Hey guys, what's up? I'm Chance and I'm this is Coffee with Chance. This is a channel I'm gonna be starting and it is pretty much me shining a light on a cluttered, saturated, complicated, and daunting topic, which is coffee. And in this channel, I'm gonna be showing videos, reviews of coffee, preparation videos. I'm gonna be going over how to grow, roast, prepare, and how coffee is distributed and marketed around the world. Pretty much just giving my two cents on the coffee community as it is right now. And today I'm gonna to be starting off with a pretty simple coffee <laughs> review of Trader Joe's Kenya AA Coffee. This is a medium roast with rich body and smooth intense flavor. And these are 100% whole Arabica beans. You guys could buy the ground beans. I like buying whole beans because I have a coffee grinder downstairs. It keeps it a little more fresh. So it preserves a little bit more of that flavor within the coffee when you drink it. And let's see what or how they're describing their product. At more than 17,000 feet above sea level, Mount Kenya is Kenya's highest peak and the second highest in all of the African continent. Mount Kenya's high plateaus with their ascetic soils are home to some of the world's most sought after coffee beans. We've packed these beans in every can of Trader Joe's Kenya AA coffee. Excuse me. Kenya AA coffee beans are graded for their size. They are the largest beans of the crop. They are intensely flavored with cocoa notes. We've been given these beans, we've given these beans a medium roast highlighting their balanced acidity. In the cup, you'll enjoy rich body and a bold, intense, complex, yet smooth flavor that's satisfying from the first sip to the last. So Trader Joe's is promising a good amount in this coffee, and let's see if they deliver. Before every review, I like to actually go and look at the beans themselves just to see what my coffee's coming from. From first appearance, these beans actually look more light mediumly roasted, but I could tell that it is a medium roast just from the aroma that it's giving off. And as they said in the description, you could really smell those notes of cocoa and it has a very earthy smell to it with an express espresso scent too. And yeah, it is very aromatic. The smell is very sweet with those cocoa notes highlighting everything. And those are the beans. They are pretty decent size since they are double A grade beans. Whenever I review coffee, I like to first look at it, seeing exactly how it looks, the color, the oil. And when I was pouring this coffee, it I'm prepared for this to be a little more full bodied because of the color itself. It just had that rich, dark color to it compared to others which are more lighter. And the oil on top, it has a little bit of oil covering the top, but it doesn't have that insane film just coating the surface of the coffee, which I am not looking for in coffee, honest to God. Some people might, but I don't like that huge film covering the top. Let's smell it. Just like the beans, it really shows those notes of cocoa. It has a sweet smell to it, which I was not expecting. I was expecting more of that earthy smell, the full bodied earthy smell to overpower the sweetness. But I'm really getting a lot of those notes of cocoa from the smell at least. All right, let's dive in guys. I'll see you on the other side. First impression, it does not taste as sweet as it smells. And to be honest, I was expecting that. They don't really tell you how it smells on here, but it does say it has a rich and smooth, intense flavor, and it is very rich. But the aftertaste provides that little zing bouncing from the, from the corners of your cheek, that acidic feeling, and yeah, that's more coming from the aftertaste more than anything. Let's give it a second go. Yeah, really the initial 
wave when it hits your tongue is a very full bodied smooth flavor and as it goes down your throat you begin to feel that zing covering your cheeks and that's when it really begins to show but other than that more than anything it does show that very earthy espresso taste in it compared to the sweetness you'd smell from the beans and the brew overall this is a pretty decent coffee on a scale of zero to 100 i'd probably give it like a 90. it's not the best it's not the worst and for the price it's very decent 13 ounces for a 6.99 it's definitely not the cheapest but you can tell there is some time and effort and quality in these beans This is definitely not my favorite coffee, but it's drinkable. And if you're at Trader Joe's and you want to try some Kenyan double-A coffee, go for it. I would recommend, if you guys like drinking your coffee with creamer and sugar, put some in because it will not taste, or for me at least, it does not taste as sweet as it smells. And I'm really getting, the aftertaste does have a lot of that acidic feel. Whereas when you first drinking, drink it, it is very, very smooth. I'll give it that. Yeah, guys. This is Trader Joe's Kenya Double A Grade Medium Roast Coffee. If you like the video, subscribe and like. And follow the channel to see more. Visit the website Coffee with Chance because I'm going to be posting blogs and everything. I'm going to be posting photos and videos of me going and trying coffee just like whatever you guys want to see and if you guys want to see any specific coffees message me and i'd be more than happy to do a review thanks for checking out my video again i'll see you guys soon